Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about relationship between electric field intensity and electric potential related examples. First example is the potential distribution in a given region of space is of the form V is equal C into 5y square plus 10x. What is the expression for the electric field intensity capital E bar? What is the vector value at that points 0, 0, 10, 0, 0, 2, 10, 2? So given that the electric potential V is equal C into 5y square plus 10x. And given that Cartesian coordinate system is there x, y and z are the Cartesian coordinate system variables and the given potential V is in Cartesian coordinate system. But what is the relation between electric field intensity and electric potential E bar is equal to minus del V E bar is equal to The relation between electric field intensity and electric potential E bar is equal to minus del V where the del V is the gradient of the potential. In Cartesian coordinate system, the gradient of the potential del V is dou V by dou X A X bar plus dou V by dou V A Y bar plus dou V by dou Z A Z bar. So first to calculate dou V by dou X, dou V by dou Y and dou V by dou Z. So, so differentiating the given potential V with respect to X, we get dou V by dou X. Next differentiating with respect to Y, we get dou V by dou Y. Next differentiating with respect to Z, we get dou V by dou Z. So first to differentiating V with respect to X. So differentiating with respect to X and the remaining parameters are constant. So Y and C are the constant. So dou V by dou X is 10 into C. 10 into C. Now you are the differential with respect to Y. Y is constant. Do V by do X is 10 C. Differentiating V with respect to Y, X is a constant. Derivative of Y square is 2 Y, 5 into 2, 10, 10 C Y. Now here in the given potential, there is no parameter of the Z. Differentiating with respect to Z, we get do V by do Z is equal to 0. So we know that the gradient of the potential del V is equal dou V by dou X into A X bar plus dou V by dou Y into A Y bar plus dou V by dou Z into A Z bar. And circuit dou V by dou X, dou V by dou Y, dou V by dou Z values into this equation, we get the gradient of the potential del V is equal 10 C A X bar plus 10 C Y A Y bar plus 0 into A Z bar. 0 into a z bar 0 so that is equal del v is equal 10 c a x bar plus 10 c y a y bar so we know that the relationship between electric field intensity and electric potential e bar is equal minus del v sub to del v value into this equation we get the electric field intensity capital e bar is equal minus of this value so multiplying minus within the bracket term we get minus 10 c a x bar minus 10 c y a y bar and this is the value of the electric field intensity for the given potential for the given potential and, uh, and also calculate and also calculate vector value vector value at the points 0 comma 0 10 comma 0 0 comma 2 10 comma 2 so next to calculate the vector value at different coordinate points so first you calculate at 0 comma 0 so 0 comma 0 means x value is 0 and y value is 0 in the above expression substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we get electric electric field intensity value at 0 comma 0 in the first term there is no x term 10 c into a x bar and the second term y is there now we are the at 0 comma 0 y is equal to 0 10 c into 0 10 c into 0 0 so therefore at 0 comma 0 the value of the electric field intensity vector is minus 10 c a x bar and next potential is next point is 10 comma 0 
so 10 comma 0 x value is 10 and y value is 0 and substitute 10 comma 0 into this equation we get the value of the electric field intensity is e bar is equal minus 10 c x bar the next point is 0 comma 2 so 0 comma 2 x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2 and substitute 0 comma 2 into this equation we get electric field intensity minus 10 c a x bar y is equal to 2 10 into 2 20 minus 20 c minus 20 c a y bar Ten into C into two minus twenty C A by bar. Next point is at ten comma zero the value of the electric field intensity E bar is equal minus ten C A X bar minus twenty C A by bar. So this is the solution of the given data. Next coming to another example. Another example. Given the potential V is equal to 10 by R square sin theta cos pi, find the electric field intensity and electric flux density, electric field intensity capital E bar and electric flux density capital D bar at 2 comma pi by 2 comma 0. So given that what is the potential V is equal to 10 by R square into sin theta into cos pi and what are the potential in this equation, potential equation, the variables r, theta and pi are the spherical coordinate variable. So, the given, therefore, therefore, consider spherical coordinate system. In spherical coordinate system, the gradient of the potential is del v is equal to v by dou r e r bar plus 1 by r dou v by dou theta a theta bar plus 1 by r sin theta dou, by, dou v by dou pi a pi bar. So, differentiating the given potential V with respect to R, we get dou V by dou R. Differentiating V with respect to theta, we get dou V by dou theta. Differentiating given potential V with respect to pi, we get dou V by dou pi. So, first to differentiating with respect to R. So, differentiate with respect to R, remaining variables theta and pi are the constant. So, dou V by dou R is equal to sin theta cos y is the constant 1 by r square derivation der, uh, differentiation is minus 2 by r square so to, 10 is there already 10 is there 10 into 2 20 minus 20 by r cube sin theta cos y and differentiating v with respect to theta so differentiate with respect to theta r and pi are the constant derivative of sin theta is cos theta so therefore, dou v by dou theta is 10 by r square cos theta plus sin pi. And differentiating v with respect to pi, we get dou v by dou pi. Differentiation of cos pi with cos pi is minus sin pi. Therefore, dou v by dou pi is equal to minus 10 by r square sin theta sin pi. Since spherical coordinate system, the gradient of the potential is this is the expression. And substitute dou v by dou r, dou v by dou theta, dou v by dou pi values into this equation, we get the potential gradient is del v is equal to minus 20 by r cube sin theta cos pi r bar plus 1 by r into 10 by r square cos theta cos pi a theta bar minus 1 by r sin theta 10 by r square sin theta sin pi a pi bar. So we know that the electric field Calculate the electric flux density. So, before calculating the electric field intensity, we know that the relation between electric field intensity and electric potential is the electric potential electric field intensity is negative gradient of the potential. So that is E bar is equal to minus del V. E bar is equal to minus del V. So therefore, the electric field intensity E bar is equal to minus of this value.
So multiply minus b with the, uh, minus b with this term, r of this of this term, we get e bar is equal to 20 by r cube sin theta cos by a r bar plus 10 by r cube. minus 10 by r cube cos theta cos phi a theta bar plus 10 by r cube sin pi a pi bar. So calculate the electric no. calculate the electric field intensity at 2 comma pi by 2 comma 0. In spherical coordinate system, what is the coordinate point r theta pi? Here r is equal to 2, theta is equal to pi by 2, pi is equal to 0 degrees. So in this equation, substitute r is equal to 2, theta is equal to pi by 2, and pi is equal to 0. We get the value of the electric field intensity E bar is equal to 2.5 AR bar. So next to calculate electric flux density, we know that the relationship between electric field intensity and electric flux density is D bar is equal to epsilon naught into E bar, but E bar is equal to at this coordinate point 2.5 into AR bar. In free space, the value of the epsilon naught is 8.854 into 10 to the power of minus 12 farad for meter. And substitute E bar and epsilon naught value into here, we get the electric flux density D bar is equal to 22.1 into 10 to the power of minus 12 AR bar coulombs per meter square.